Today I'll be making Captain America's weapons from World War II. Because what's more American than guns and knives? These are the things you'll need. Toy weapon set, spray paint, sanding supplies, fake leather, contact cement, silver sharpie, army green straps, nutmeg acrylic paint, paintbrush, cardboard, hot glue, small magnet, super glue, and metal scrap. First I started out by disassembling the knife, just to make it a little bit easier to work with and uh, paint. I sanded the plastic uh, just so that the spray paint would have something like to grab onto. So the spray paint really does not like this um, uh, plastic. I painted the uh, blade silver. And I primed the uh, handle and then painted it a brown. I assembled the knife and that was it for the knife. And then for the sheath, uh, I just cut off some, some bits that were just like jutting out that I didn't need. Uh, I just cleaned it up a bit and sanded, sanded some spots smooth because some of them were some rough cuts, and then I assembled it. I started making a leather covering that would go over the sheath. I first cut out a strip that would go on the side of the sides of the sheath. I used contact cement. And the way contact cement works is you put uh, you apply it to both surfaces you want to glue together. Wait 13 to 15 minutes then uh, glue them together and they bond on contact. Then I made the top part of the uh, leather covering just by gluing the sheath to uh, some leather um, and then cutting out strips so that it would go over the sides of the sheath uh, just to cover some gaps and just to be attached securely. Then I cut slits for the uh, straps that I were going to go through. Um, and I had a hard time uh, getting the straps through. And then when I did get it through, then it would be the wrong way. And it was, I just had to, it was, I had to do that a lot just to, you know, get it right. Once you do that, the knife and sheath are done. So then I started working on the holster for the gun, um, tracing out the basic shape out of on cereal box cardboard. Um, just, just kind of making a form-fitting box around the pistol, uh, making sure it'll fit inside, and yeah, it it all it all depend on the specific toy gun you have. Um, so some of them are bigger than others, and yeah, I hot glued I, I hot glued it all together, and constantly checking if uh, the gun would fit inside. I don't really know what else to say. I really feel like this is kind of self-explanatory. Just kind of making sure the gun fits. That's pretty much it. On the top part, I did cut a slant in it just so it would be easier to unholster the gun. Then I uh, covered it in the same uh, leather that I did with the sheath, using contact cement of course. Um, I just glued it on and then cut the excess off. I'm trying to cover all of the cardboard just so it looks more real and not like 
just some pieces of cardboard you glued together. Also for the latching mechanism, I just got a small magnet and uh, a little piece of scrap metal and I just super glued those on so it'll keep, it'll, it can, you know, close securely but still be able to open. I didn't want to make like a latch mechanism like on the original actual thing because uh, I'm lazy so I just use magnets. Then I cut in some slits for the uh, leather band that would go around your leg. Then I uh, cut some slits for the strap that would attach to the belt. I started uh, sanding the gun just so the paint would have something to grab onto. Uh, doing a few different grits just, you know, just to get in those details. Then I uh, did a primer coat. I painted it silver. And I painted it black. I thought I could sand off the top black layer so the silver would peek through, but it didn't end up working. So I just used some silver sharpie on it. Then I painted the handle uh, brown with acrylic paint. I had to do a few coats uh, just so it would look good and not like uneven and bad. I did tape off some edges just to try and minimalize paint getting where it does not need to be. I think I did three coats on each side of the handle. I screwed it together. Then I just went over the edges with a silver sharpie just to show that it's been used before and uh, it just has some, uh, it's just weathering. Do this to for a little extra detail. And then once you've done that, you're done and ready to shoot some Nazis. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.